cleaning the shed. It's what you do, or it's what you get your guys and your girls to do, if there's no paid work. And, and it's not a great thing to be doing, is it? Thank you here to uh, Matt Russell Jones, who came up with the term, well, told me the term cleaning the shed. I told him I was going to steal it. I told him he'd see it in a video. Matt, here it is. This is yours. Okay, cleaning the shed's not fun. You don't want to be cleaning the shed. You want to be working or paying your people to work, earning your money, not paying them to clean the shed, which may or may not need cleaning because there's nothing else to do. I'm John. I run Small Fish Business Coaching and my coaching program for trades business owners. It's called the Trades Toolbox because it helps you grow and scale because it's packed, jam full of beautiful tools and apparently because I'm a bit of a tool myself. And one of the things I work on, apart from growing and scaling, is not finding yourself cleaning the shed, right? It's a very stressful place to be. Chews up your cash flow. It's not where you want to be at all. So part of what we work on is making sure you don't end up there. It's easy to end up there if you don't build yourself a proper marketing machine. And I'll explain what I mean in a minute. But how do you end up there? How do you end up cleaning the shed? Well, it's, you know, what usually happens is this. You get a bit busy, so you don't do any marketing. Because you're busy, you don't need any work. And then you stop being busy because you've finished some jobs or it goes a bit quiet and you haven't done any marketing, so there's no more new work to do. Right, and it's a horrible place to find yourself. And it can be this kind of feast and famine cycle, you know, do work, do marketing, get work, do the work, go quiet, shit yourself, do some more marketing, get some more work, do the work, stop marketing, go quiet, right? It's a bit cyclical and you shouldn't be operating a business like that. What you should do is always be doing some marketing. Right? And I do find myself having people say things like, I don't need the work, John, I'm too busy, John, I haven't got time to do the marketing. It would be a waste. I don't want to let people down by not being able to do the work or not booked out till Christmas. All things like that. It makes me cross, makes me want to shake them because I just know that come January or February or March or whatever, they're going to end up quiet and pissed off. So you should build yourself a marketing machine that works all the time, whether you're busy or not, and that is always bringing you work in. There's no such thing as too much work or too many leads. You can grow and expand and hire more people, right? You can build momentum and grow your business and escape that awful, stressful cycle of work and no work and cleaning the bloody shed. So that's what you should do. If I'm coaching you, I'm going to encourage you and help you and show you how to build a marketing machine that keeps going all the time, that doesn't leave you lurching from busy to quiet and busy to quiet all the time, okay? And how do you do that? Well, it kind of depends, right? What kind of machine you build depends on what kind of business you are, right? If you if you work with consumers, your marketing machine is likely to be dominated by search marketing. Right? I call it find me marketing. People go, oh, I need a plumber or a fencer, and they look it up on Google on their phone, and they find somebody local, and they contact. Right? And if you don't get found, you won't get contacted, right? So your marketing machine is making sure you have a website that gets found in search. You'll spend money on a website and on either SEO or Google AdWords or both, right? And, and, and your marketing might well be dominated by that if, if your primary market is consumers. If your primary market's not consumers, you probably won't do so much of that. You might still need a website and you'll certainly still do other forms of marketing, but your marketing might be dominated by relationship marketing, right? If you work with builders, architects or larger corporations, larger businesses, direct contact, building relationships, making friends until they decide to give you an opportunity to quote is your dominant and your most useful activity. So you should be doing that. And that's the one that's really easy to stop doing when you're a bit busy. So you're the risk group. If that's your kind of marketing, you're the risk group. Okay, and you must watch yourself. So to build a marketing machine, if your dominant marketing kind of opportunity is relationship marketing, like I said, making friends to generate opportunity. You need to make sure you build a system, you write down processes, you use tools to help you follow them, and you use tools and reminders to make sure you make those calls and send those emails and send letters and, and go and have the coffees and do those things. Because if you don't, you'll miss out and you'll be quiet. Okay, so you build a machine, 
you either get someone to hold you accountable or you you know if you can hire someone else to do that work and hold them accountable if that's not something you're ready for yet hiring somebody you know maybe i can hold you accountable that's part of my job right and usually as i'm helping people grow and scale we're building a marketing machine which often relies on you doing it as the boss and as we grow maybe in another year you can hire somebody else to do it instead of you but for now it might be you so part of my role might be holding you accountable for making the cause and making sure you can't forget and you can't let yourself off the hook. And we'll use system, we'll write scripts, we'll have a system so you don't forget anybody, and I'll help you stick to your system. That's one of the things I can do as a business coach and as helping you grow and scale. And if you, if you want to talk to me about that, you book yourself a 10 minute chat or make an inquiry some other way through the website. See you later.